really add some, some electric uh, offense for your basketball team. Mavs lead the all-time series 93-66 against the Clippers, but the Clippers have won the last four. The Clippers had an opening night win over the L.A. Lakers by seven and a road win against Denver by 13 in game two on Christmas night. He's going to wear Paul George out now that he's hot. Kawhi is out. Expect Kawhi, uh, Paul George to try to carry this team. Luka gets the Mavericks on the board. Trying to go back out to Batum on that pass by Paul George. Luka down low to a trailing Josh Richardson who glanced at the rim from three-point territory but takes it inside and can score three anyway. Man, it looked like his career was just about done in Charlotte last year, but a rebirth with the Clippers as Powell guides in the alley-oop pass from Luka. George, another throwaway. Richardson centers the break off to Luka, and Luka will glide to the rim and score with a foul. Only nine total offensive rebounds in the first two games. Dallas just grabbed one but didn't do anything with it as the reverse layup is scored on the drive to the basket by Paul George. Contest George. On the bounce, Finney Smith. And we'll float back to the arc, and there's the first three-pointer of the game today. Well, that was a good find for this Clipper team. He and Kawhi are really good friends. It's a good fit. Straight away three. Yes, sir. Kleba. Getting used to that. Richardson in and out on a three. Willie Cauley-Stein in the game. Grabs the offensive rebound. And a drive and find by Luka. Another drive. This time Josh Richardson. And he goes to the basket. Stepping up as Kawhi always does. Had eight stitches to close that mouth laceration that was causing that profuse bleeding. I just can't echo enough how sharp the Mavericks look in this first quarter. And it just forced another Clippers turnover. And Richardson looking for another three. And the rainbow is up and in. No, none of that has taken place. So it takes you a little bit longer sometimes to get to where you want to get. But it's a process. And you have to stay the course of the process. The score right now, Mavericks 26. And now you've got Paul George, only starter on the floor right now for the Clippers. He's inside, shoots over Burke. Offensive rebound, put back. Zubox. Back to all last year when the Mavs played him, he did a lot of cleaning up. Remember, he had a 10 for 10 game for the floor in the bubble in the regular season as Luka goes inside and it's a kind bounce off the iron. Getting inside, finishing through the contact. 10 points by Richardson, nine from Luka. So they've got over 60% of Dallas's offense. Well, if he's going to score about 89% of their points, they're going to lose this game. I can promise you that. Or he's going to have a Wilt Chamberlain like <laughs> one of the other. Inside, Luka with the score. Shot clock now down to 10. As the Mavericks milk this possession with Luka in a 1v1 against Zubats. Now they'll move it around the perimeter. And Josh Richardson cooking on this Sunday <laughs> afternoon. Cleva flashed over to set the screen. Luka making his way down into the paint where he's looked good today and scores again over Reggie Jackson. Let's face it, that's unstoppable. Yeah. Reggie Jackson, he's the same guy that got that three-pointer for the game uh, during the bubble. Kali Stein, his activity has been really helpful for yes, Dallas. Sir. And there's Hardaway, difficult off-balance attempt goes in. Hardaway returned. He scored his first basket of the game a moment ago. His pass for Brunson deflected, still caught. Johnson, late clock, and James Johnson. The Williams. Right to the floor, Johnson. A lead for Jalen Brunson. A hard drive and pull up from the elbow. But there's no stopping this guy as big as he is once he starts going downhill. Well, that graphic is Brunson. Nice lob to Cauley Stein. Luke Kennard went one year and one day between games. Because remember, as he hits a three there, he had patella tendonitis at both knees. Stopped playing December 21st of 2018. Was going to come back right before Detroit and the rest of the NBA stopped play in March as the three is answered. And Cauley Stein rising over Zubac to secure the rebound and then finds Dorian Finney-Smith. And Cauley Stein follows him in on the fast break and slams it home with a foul. That's not his game. Nope, not at all. And he saw the result. Wide open three. Transition. Vinny Smith. He hits bullseye. And the lead is getting close to 40 right, in look, the second quarter. Any kind of basket here makes it a 40-point second quarter lead for the Mavericks. Wow. Spin move. Drive. And there's that hoop. Jalen Brunson. As he'll say, things aren't challenges. They're not obstacles. They're opportunities. Yes. Steal. Run out. Slam. Hardaway. 
60 to 18 <laughs> is the lead for the Mavs. You, you, you guys were talking about Rick and embracing challenges. It reminds me, oh, as gosh. Brunson knocks it down, of a time when he was asked about a player getting comfortable, and he said, why would I want a guy to get comfortable? <laughs> Paul George, Richardson defending him. George tried to overpower on the post up. Got it to go. That's not how you get back in the game. One for 17. The Clippers now on three. Brunson looking for a three of his own. Sidesteps the defense, and it is on the money. Run TMC. Is that about that time? Yeah, that is that time. And you are right, by the way, that Philadelphia team was in the midst of the process as Luka turns and hits that shot. I just don't think the Clippers have the same shooting. And look at Luka rising up for the shot. Fouled on the J. It goes in a chance for three the hard way for Luka. Interior pass on the entry to Serge Ibaka for the jump hook. 10 for 10 in the first half. There you go. Steele, Richardson stepped in front of Kennard and glides to the cup. Where's my N1? 49. You're closing in on your number. Richardson controls it. Give it to me. Trey Burke for three. He does. Thank you, Trey. There's your 50-point advantage right there. He made the team in 1984. And was part of a championship in 1986 before the Christmas Day game. As a matter of fact, Rick said he had been in touch with multiple members. Three out of the timeout by Richardson. A three by Luke Kennard. No good. Luca just had a one of two on the free good throw. Good luck. Line. And up ahead and running the floor. That was an excellent look, and it's an easy finish for Hardaway. Luca on a drive inside. Way oh. off the glass and a fancy finish with a foul. There's that cartoon stuff that Luca likes to do sometimes on the floor. His three he just made puts the Clippers at two for 22 on what? threes in today's game. Answer by Dallas, though. A stare down three by Josh Richardson. That culture is selfless yes, is sir. what it is. Those guys play for each other opposed to making it about them and individual thing. Hardaway Jr., nice catch and shoot. Look out is right. Drive, turning, Luca, will scoop pass outside, and a three-pointer is hit by Hardaway. 17 a game as a starter last season. Luca heaves the three with two minutes to go in the third quarter. Glances off the iron, the quickest to the ball is Willie Cauley-Stein. And it's Hardaway again, wide open. Pretty good defense that time by the rookie. And the switch. Cauley-Stein fakes the dribble handoff, it puts it down and hits the pull-up. 108-63, Mavs lead. They led by 50 at the half, by 51 at one stage early in the fourth nice. quarter. Here goes Brunson. He finds the cutting. West of one-two for the slam. You know, the way Dallas won this game, you ha it has to build some confidence Comes for dunk. this team. Josh Green. Throw it down. Josh Green. Miami, by the way, will be coming to town to play in Dallas on New Year's Day. Second home game. They're one and one. Beat the Pelicans. Lost to Orlando in their opener. And there's Ty Terry with a steal and a whale of a save in. And Green with a beauty of a pass to Wes Awundu in transition. Terry to Boban. Four left on the shot clock. And Boban with one hand just up over the top of the defender, Kevin Gelly. Some, some wilding in the first half when the Mavericks went up by 50 at halftime for the largest halftime lead in NBA history is Boban. Follows it in on the flush. They take that shot anyway. But Wes and Wundu and the Mavericks will dribble out the clock on a win. 124-73 is the final score as Dallas wins today by 51, the second largest margin of victory in Mavs history.